with you guys. I don't take up a lot of your time. So if you guys saw my message, I was just talking about the top five people. Basically, what that is, it's not like I'm just leaving other people hanging like if they don't want to be a part of it. What it basically is, is like, I'm just looking for five people that I can work with like really close. Like literally, I want to talk to them every single day. Um, I want to know what they're struggling with. I want to know anything that they need like I am their backup if they get messages from people they don't know how to answer like I'm obviously there for you guys for that already but I'm literally gonna be bugging you if you're part of my top five just because that means like you guys are on my chart too so I want to make sure like we're all working together to get to do what we need to do you know to be able to promote um, you know I obviously need a team to promote also and I also want to help people that really want it. Like, if I need three rubies, I want to help people get to ruby or whatever. Um, I don't want to get too confusing, but basically that's just what that means. And there is requirements for that just because I want to make sure, you know, to be successful in this business, there is some steps you have to be, you have to take, which is make sure you're on a product because you can't share, you know, any of our products without being on them. Obviously, people are going to ask you, well, what, what does this taste like or what did this do for you? And you can't be like, oh, well, nothing, you know? So it's super important. That's one of my requirements. Um, if you got, if you message me, then you probably know them. But, um, you know, it's have at least a, one product on your auto ship. I know it's hard sometimes to do the ADPP. So my requirement is you have to have at least one product. Um, my suggestion is to switch it every single month. So you are trying different things, you know, try the relief for joint pain if you have that. Try new you, try the hair, skin, and nails, try the cleanse, try everything. Um, and then also get to 150. So if you're running for just greens, that's only like 33 in BB. You still want to make sure you're getting to 150 or whatever else you need. I don't even know what 150 minus 33. Whatever else you need to get to 150. Um, but, I mean, 150 is just what I'm saying, you know, get to 150 so I know you're going to get some money. I want you guys to get paid. But that shouldn't be your only goal. You should want to get, you know, as many customers, as many distributors, obviously, as you can. Don't just get to 150 and be like, oh, well, you know, I got to 150, so I think I'm good, you know. You guys are not going to see the kind of money you want to see until you are just literally working every day and enrolling when you can and talking to people all the time. And, you know, people come after a while, but basically you don't, you don't have to have like a limit on your personal volume. Cause I know when I first started, I was always like, well, I'm at 400, like, you know, I'm a qualified leg or whatever. Or I'm at 150. I'm commission qualified. But if you think about it being at 150 and you're only making 10%, that's like nothing, you know? So your goal should just be, I want to talk to as many people as I can and get as many loyal customers and distributors as I can. Obviously, the steps of success are something that you just want to stick to. Sorry, it's like really dark in my living room. I'm going to open my window. Um, the steps of success is basically, that should be your main goal. You know, the four loyals and the three distributors, um, that's really going to help you boom your business. Like, if you do that, like, if you push really hard and do that for three months, that's already a diamond. Um and so obviously it's building three rubies and that's an amazing income to be at so um basically if you guys want to be a part of that top five you know just message me and i'll give you more details on that so we have two more days basically wait what time is it we have till tomorrow night at 10 p.m for bogo so my biggest tip is just message everybody like don't be afraid to message certain people because you think they're gonna say no like you never know you know don't even if they're super healthy and you know them you're like oh they're not gonna want wraps you know just let them know like hey i have a a deal going on right now and like i need people to use the product so i can share them would you be willing to try them and like they let you use photos awesome if not can you just give me a testimony on what you think about that? So, um, message everybody that you've ever talked to. Um, if you've been in the business for a while, you should have a hundred lists of people you talk to or people you talk to on Instagram, Facebook. Um, don't count anyone out because this is the time where people will sign up because of the BOGO. So take advantage of that. Um, also, I don't know if you guys watched my video I posted on Redreamer, but I was just talking about this morning about how Sometimes we think like people are going to sign up overnight and really they don't. It takes a while for people to sign up. Um, for me, like the average person I talk to, it takes at least, at least two months. Like it's, ne it's never 
And sometimes it's taken like up to a year before someone actually signs up to become a distributor or a customer, but you just never know, you know, that one distributor you sign up could be someone that's just like runs for it or that customer you sign up could be somebody that really falls in love with the product and they purchase from you forever. The fact that we have our loyal program and people are signed up, you know, they're signed up for a while. So it, you know, it helps you guys be able to build that residual income. And that's the kind of income you want to build to be able to know you're going to be making money, you know. So if you're constantly adding loyal, that just keeps growing. So don't wait for people to fall off because they're three months ended and you're like, oh, well, now I don't have any loyals, you know, because maybe they all turn off their auto ship or they change their orders and they only have like small products. That's not what matters. What you need to be focusing on is ne what's next, you know, how many more people you are going to get to sign up that month. Don't wait until people fall off to start working. That's the biggest mistake I see people do. Every month I make it my goal to complete the steps of success, but like even if I don't or if I do, I never stop and I don't let the people that tell me no get in the way of that. So, um, you know, take advantage of the BOGO and talk to as many people as possible um, because once it's gone, it's gone. <clears throat> and we never know when we're going to get them. That's another thing about BOGO is, yeah, they, we've been getting them a lot more often than we used to, um, but that's just because our CEO is trying to help us, you know, build our business and trying to help us step out of our comfort zone and be like, okay, well, right now is the time I need to go do this. So it's just a way for us to get out there, but <clears throat> we could have it today and not have it again. <clears throat> Sorry. Not have it again for a long time. So <clears throat> take advantage of that. Um... <laughs> Another thing, like, people are watching you, so if you are posting one day and then not posting and then, you know, sometimes talking about your business to your friends and then when you're around them, you get embarrassed to talk about it again, they're not going to take you serious. They're going to think of it like, oh, it's just something else she's doing or whatever, you know? Like, for me, all my friends know I go to work. Yeah, I'm at work all day. Like, my sister's like, are you going to come over and, like, have dinner? And I'm, like, on my phone because... Like, this is my business, you know, I want her to know, like, I'm taking it serious. I have stuff to do, so I might be on my phone a little bit. I think that it's okay for people to know you're taking your business serious because then they want to know what's going on. Like, why is she so into what she's doing? Um, and it makes them want to be a part of it. So take your business really serious and know that, like, people are watching you. That's the biggest reason why I tell you guys post, 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 because you're posting, I joined a new business, and if you don't post that all, people are like, oh, she already quit, and they're not going to buy from you. They're going to go buy from someone that they've seen posting all the time. Um, I always say, like, your first goal should be, your goal should be not who signed up today or who, who I'm going to get to sign up today. No. But your goal should be acting weird. Your goal should be, am I the first person that's talked to them about the business? Um, that's my goal every day. My goal is not, okay, I'm gonna talk to five people, hopefully they all sign up. My goal is I wanna be the first person that has ever introduced it works to this person. That is my goal. And I even ask people, like when I talk to them, have you heard about this? Have you heard about it works? Have you heard about the rap? Have you heard? Because I want to know. And a lot of the times they're like, no, or maybe they say, yeah. And I'm like, cool. Where did you hear of it? Because it starts a, a conversation and then I get to know where they heard of it. If they're just like, oh, it's just on Facebook. Or they're like, oh, my sister or my cousin does it or something like that. Then I'm like, oh, cool. Have you ever wanted to join? You know, stuff like that. So your goal should be just to be the first person that talks to people about the business and about the products not have them sign up right on the spot because that's not going to happen as bad as we wanted to I mean it does happen but it doesn't happen as often as we would want so it's really more about forming relationships with people um, having that daily or every couple of days interaction with them especially I know I say this a lot but especially if you're growing your business on Facebook there has to be a lot of interaction going on because there's so much going on on Facebook that you know, you could, they could scroll through your newsfeed and see, oh, she's a rap girl, and then the next girl's, you know, doing the same thing. So, you know, you want to stick out. So make sure you're commenting and you're liking and stuff like that. So, sorry, I'm trying to read my notes at the same time. So it's not just about the relationship, but it's also about the follow-up. If you're just 
talking to people and then you talk to, you know, three people today and then in a few weeks you're like, oh, I'm going to follow up with them and then you totally forget and you tell, you know, and you just don't ever follow up with them and they were interested, they are going to go to the person that messages them. I'm telling you guys, there's, it works people like hustling right now, like they're on their grind. So I'm, somebody's going to receive a message from one of them. So if you're not following up with your potentials, somebody else is. And if they end up signing up with them, because this happened to me so many times, just because I'm like slacking or out, that day I'm going to follow up with them and I wait until the night, they're like, oh, like somebody already messaged me and I signed up with them. I'm sorry. I totally forgot you messaged me a few weeks ago. And I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, but obviously it bums me out because I've been the one talking to them. So I don't want you guys to have to go through that. So make sure that when you are talking to people, you're writing their names down and you're taking the time on Thursday or Friday, whatever day you choose to do follow up day, which is Thursday or Friday is the best day because you know, people got get paid on Friday and Thursday is the day before they get paid so they can prepare to maybe spend money for something like that. If they want to. So those were my um, big tips today. And I just wanted to go over um, some self-development things that I watched this morning. I try to do self-development every single day, which is another tip for you guys. You know, even if you're getting ready for work, you know, get on Google and just put self-development and listen to anything. Um, it can really help you stay motivated and not give up. So, what was, it, what was it on there that I wrote? The first, first thing that I got off of Jim Rohn motivation was, was let's do it. Basically what he's saying is like, you know, in life you're going to have to take a risk and whether you don't take the risk or if you do, the outcome's not going to be different. If you didn't join this business, you know, what would be so different? You just didn't join the business. But what if you did and what if you worked really hard at it and it changed your life, which it can. Um... Another thing is ask for adventure. Like, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and meet new people and talk to new people and do things that you normally wouldn't do. Like, for me, I'm not a big party person. Like, I don't really like to get in front of a lot of people and party, but it's something that I'm, you know, taking the initiative and going out and doing because I want to do other things. I want to step out of my comfort zone. So, um, Another huge thing is have a purpose for what you're doing. If you don't have a purpose or a why, you know, for me, my why is because I want to be with my kids and I don't want to go back to work ever. I want to be able to spend time with my family and I, won't, I don't want to have to worry about bills, you know. So that's my purpose and that's my why for being in this business. And if you don't have a purpose and you don't have your why in the back of your mind or whatever in the front of your mind written down somewhere, then um, hold on, guys. So I really encourage you guys to, you know, write down your why somewhere where you can see it every day. If it's next to your bed on a piece of paper, whatever, write down why you joined this business and what you want out of it. Um, another huge thing is you have to, you have to dream. If you are not dreaming and you're just like, oh, well, I just joined because ho hopefully something happens. Okay, honey. Hopefully something happens. Hopefully my Hopefully if I join this business, like I start making money, like that's not the way, you know, that's not the way you're going to be successful. You literally have to have your dream of what you want out of this business. I mean, you have to know your dream. So dream and don't be afraid to say, I want to be diamond, double diamond by the end of this year and have that put up somewhere so you can work towards it every day. So never give up is the next thing. He's basically just saying, like, if you give up on something, then you're never going to be successful. That's the only way to fail is by giving up. So no, nobody that is successful ever made it to be successful when they gave up. So just never give up. Know that in anything you do in life, whether it's this business or you go to school for this dream job that you want, you're going to go through hardships and you're going to go through – you know, moments where you want to give up. So never give up. And only rely on yourself. Even if you have a team and you have distributors, only rely on yourself because you are the ones that can get, you are the one that can get the things done that you need to get done for your, your business. 
if that means you want to go Ruby and you know you need five people to go Ruby, then have it in the back of your mind like I'm gonna get those five people. I don't care if I have three people on my team and hopefully each one of them get one and I can be Ruby. No, like have it in your mind. I'm gonna get five people this year and I'm gonna be Ruby and I'm gonna be making an extra five hundred dollars a month. So only rely on yourself. Um, I really love this one. It was learn from others. But make sure they're people with value. So, you know, I'm not going to go look up some <laughs> random it works person. I'm really going to make sure that the person that I'm following or the person that I'm learning from is someone that has been successful. Also, getting on trainings and reading is huge. If you're not getting on Zooms and you're not um, reading things that are going to help you grow, then it's not going to happen. You're going to stay in the same mindset. You're going to have the same thoughts through your head every day. You're going to be thinking you're not good enough. So when you are doing training, look up people that have done this business. There's a ton of them. If you guys want some names, just message me. And you, there's a ton of training videos on YouTube. Um, so learn from those people. Watch a training every day. Um, I'm not a big reader, but, you know, if you find a book, if you like to read, find a book to read um, that's going to help your mind grow, and you're going to learn new things about running your own business or staying motivated. And um, another thing is say enough is enough. Like, what is it going to take for you to say, I can do this business? Like, even if I get no customers this month, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to go on to the next month and I'm going to start over. You have to think about that because if you don't think, if you don't tell yourself enough is enough, like I want better for my family or I want better for my life, then you're not going to get to where you want to get. So just think about that. Um, another thing was think rich. If you are thinking like an ambassador or thinking like a diamond or whatever your goal is in this business, then you will be that. You don't have to be there to, um, talk about this business the way you should like for me when I first started I felt like I can't talk about being diamond because I'm not diamond I can't talk about me being successful because I haven't been. but if you're sharing you know the dreams that you have in this business with people that's what's going to catch their attention if you're posting you know I joined at work and I'm really excited because in a year I'm going to be diamond and that's going to help my family out so much to do this this and this and I might be able to stop working like part-time or whatever that's the kind of stuff that's going to catch people. It's not always, oh, I'm an ambassador, or I'm a diamond. That's not what catches people. What catches people is real stories, you know, your real dreams and stuff like that. So just be genuine and tell your story. You don't have to be anything, you know, a top earner to be able to share. But um, that's all I wanted to talk about. Do you guys have any questions? You too? Um, so far I don't think so. It's true though what you say. Um, that even happened to me one time. I had a friend that um I had talked to and she had just got like an hour before signed up as a distributor with somebody else. Yeah, it happens and it really sucks. So, I mean, I can save you guys from so much, you know, but at the end of the day, if you are not um, putting into action what I say. Like, there's a few people that I wanted on my top five, like really bad. I even, I, I was hoping they would. Sorry. I was hoping they would message me and they didn't. So I decided, like, I'm going to reach out to them and message them and just say, like, hey, do you want to be a part of my top five? And one of them told me no. And I was really, like, in shock because I had been, like, working with her and building with her for a while. Actually, two of them told me no. And I was just like, okay, it kind of hurt my feelings, you know, but at the end of the day, um, I only want to work with people that really want this, you know, if they're putting it on the back burner and they're just like, you know, which is fine. Like everybody's timing is different, but that's why I tell you guys, like follow up with the people that you talk to because I've had people join other teams and even family has joined other teams and I'm like, what? And it was because I didn't follow up. So, um, I told a girl that told me no, I was like, you know what, I'm not, she's like, oh, this is what she said, this is what I was trying to say. She said, well, like, I don't want to do, I don't want to do something that I can't, I feel like, what if I can't do it, you know? She's like, every day is different for me, like, what if I can't do the things that you want me to do? And it wasn't really, what I want you guys to do is not hard, 
but I guess she was kind of intimidated by it because she was busy, and she's like, what if I can't get on the Zoom? What if I can't run the auto ship? What if I can't um, do what I need to do? Then the only reason why I'm telling you guys to do those things is because I know that's what it's gonna take for you guys to promote, you know? If you're running auto ship, you're following up, you're posting three times a day, I'm telling you guys those things because I went through that too, you know? At the beginning, I never posted really and I posted like one time a day and like my upline was messaging me too like if you want to work online you know you got to do this you got to do that um and she was a little bit more blunt with me about it so I decided like I'm going to start getting on YouTube and training every single night which really helped me learn how to work online so if I would have never done that I might have been in the same the same area so I just really want you guys to be successful and it's not just about me it's about you guys too so, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> I can talk forever. What do you mean by um, the auto shipments? Is that where we are ordering product every month? Yeah, an auto shipment is kind of like when you were loyal. You know how you were getting stuff every month? It's the same yeah. thing, um, except for your distributor, too, and you're getting an auto shipment. If you have ADBV, your commission qualified, which... You don't have to worry about getting to 150. But what I mostly focus on is it's not, you know, I, I should tell you guys we're in an auto ship that's $80. But I know when I first started, it was hard for me, especially if you join this business because you need money, you know. So it's kind of hard to spend $80 a month or whatever it is to run that. So that's why I say, like, I know that you guys are not going to be successful if you're not using the products. If you're just, you know, if you're just – using them sometimes once a year or whatever people are not going to see that you're using them they're not going to use them so what i try to do is i try to always be using the product and always be sharing it because like you said yeah. earlier, like how am i going to tell her you know how are you going to tell people about it if you don't know what to say and that's why it's important to use everything so you can share the new you and you can share the you know i know you you've used a lot of stuff but yeah, i carry the fat fighters and the thermal fit with me everywhere yeah, that's how people have noticed. And you've tried the cleanse, and you've tried the green. Yeah, I still have another cleanse, and then the ju juice, the chewables, my daughter loves those. And the green, she likes them, and I didn't think she would, and she loves them. See, the green. you can talk to people about all those things. Like, you can just bring it up, like, oh, my daughter loves these, you know, they're good for kids, or whatever. Um, they just keep you healthy, you know, stuff like that. But if you wouldn't have tried those, then you wouldn't have known. So, um, and you can tell them how they taste. They kind of taste like candy, but they're not. So they're really good. Um, so that's just a huge thing. Like, being on the products is just huge. Like, I have people join, and they don't even try anything for, like, six months. And they're trying to get customers, and then they can't, you know? So that's why I tell you guys to, you can't run an ADBB auto ship. That's fine, but try to... <clears throat> try to use something and try to get to 150 because if you're not getting to 150 you're not gonna get you're not gonna get, make any money it's gonna be I mean at the beginning it's kind of like okay so I'm spending money I'm not making that much back you know maybe what you're getting is barely covering the product that you bought but if you keep working it eventually that check is gonna go up you know and it's gonna be more worth it. That makes sense. Do you have any questions, Lori? No. No. Okay, well, um, I guess I'll let you guys go. Thank you for getting on, and let me know if you guys have any more questions, or if you want to get on a Zoom, just me, you guys, me and you alone, whatever, we can do that. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.